If you're a distinguished bearded gentleman such as myself, then you have a lot of costs a month in keeping this looking good. So here is my new side business. Welcome to the Epic Food Truck. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So one of the main reasons that I missed being a Wrangler person over a Gladiator person was how easily it was to organize the back and not worrying about things getting wet and dusty. Since we've made a lot of headway on the Jeep, getting the suspension on, getting it all re-geared, getting it ready to go, it's only fitting that our next step be a call to goose gear. Look what arrived today. Not only did they send me a pretty sick hat, they sent me a lot of goodies. So most of my kitchen setups have all had a reason behind it. The last time I did the white one, I wanted to have a full flat plate across where I could put the water and stuff. This one, we have different ideas. We are gonna do a full seat delete this time. We are not doing a rooftop tent on this Jeep. We have another tent in store for you. And we actually have a stove slide so we can actually do some cooking. And our other main focus, coffee. Coffee is key. You'll see why. Well, first thing, there's way too much interior in here. Let's fix that. Since daylight's burning here, I don't have enough time in the day to finish most things. We're not gonna bother showing you how to disassemble the interior. We've done it enough times before. So let's just put this on fast forward. There's a lot more usable space in here. And now without the seats, we won't have to take any pesky passengers who want to argue about the radio station or audio book you happen to pick. Much like that beautiful man Brad Pitt once said in the movie Seven, what's in the box? What's in the box? Installer pro tip, any sees, though messy, gets on everything, it's your friend, especially with the bolts that stick through the body and out into the elements. Do you ever want to take this out again one day? Now that we got the goose gear all nicely installed, torqued down, set up right where we want it, at least until we get the fridge in there to test to make sure everything still fits. You do not have to be as tight with your clearances when you don't have any of the seats. You don't have to make sure that it fits closed and all that. You can mount it a little farther back. Now, the only thing we're missing here is a place to set your drinks. So I guess we're gonna have to add a table to this.
So here at Epic, we are huge fans of Goose Gear. Brian makes an amazing product. We've had it in every one of our builds so far. So this is gonna be nothing different. Let's show you what we decide to do this time. Do you like tacos? I like tacos. So if you like tacos, go call Marco because I can't cook a goddamn thing. <laughs> so this time I decided I was gonna bring the the kitchen module, uh, this is the one meant for the Jeep. It's best suited with the Dometic CFX3 45 liter fridge. It can be done with or without the back seats. We decided to delete the back seats so that we didn't have to take on passengers when we go places. <laughs> you can nicely get your fridge out and whatever stove you happen to mount to it and all its goodies. So with this setup, we ended up with a smaller double drawer setup because I wanted to be able to use these new bags from Blue Ridge Overland so I could strap them on all sides of the Molly. This is where I store my propane hoses, but you can put anything you want in there. Goodies, snacks, Sour Patch Kids, really good idea. If you need more room, Step 22 makes so many bags, you'll know what to do with yourself. Look at that nice set. It's like I've never cooked with it. So of course we have this beautifully crafted goose gear table with it's like one handed opening. Let me show you what you can do with this. Without spilling your beer, you can open that table. Did you see how easy that was? So as you can see, we put the 60 and the 40% seat delete so we can not have to take our pesky friends anywhere we go. They can buy their own damn Jeep. And you have access to all this under panel storage to these really nice compressing latches. So you can easily get to your Kraken bag. Who put that there? Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call. Please be kind and smash that like button. And hey, we have an online store. Check it out. <laughs>